In this video, we are going to review the most popular WordPress shopping cart plugins. But even before we do that, it's important to set the context for online e-commerce in general. We'll call it the 30,000 foot view. Depending on your needs, you may find a much better solution than a WordPress shopping cart, and so we need to spend a little time on this. Specifically, we are going to cover why is e-commerce so complicated? Then we'll review the most popular WordPress carts and then it will tell you of some alternative solutions. The reason that e-commerce is so complicated, and this is also the reason that WordPress e-commerce has taken so long to mature, is the range of needs for online stores. Even relatively simple things like choice of payment gateway, taxes, and shipping can take you down the rabbit hole. And so if you're planning a major online store, you are going to need to review all the different parts of the equation that are listed in this table. You can pause the video and take notes if you want. However, we will move on because this is a course that is specifically about WordPress e-commerce. Later, we'll discuss some options if you're looking for a full-blown e-commerce store. Now, in case that previous chart makes you want to curl up into a ball, I, I have some very good news. If you don't need anything unusual, and especially for PayPal payment and or for digital downloads, we'll get you set up in 15 minutes. Second, the latest software, such as WooCommerce, that we're going to cover is incredibly powerful, relatively simple to use, and comes with 192 paid add-ons for all the things that you may want to do that are not included in the base package. And finally, we'll review some higher-end options for web marketers and professional stores. Here are the most popular WordPress shopping carts ordered by number of downloads. We'll start with a WP e-commerce plugin with 2.6 million downloads. This was one of the very first WordPress carts. However, it was more or less obsoleted by WooCommerce in April 2012, so we'll move on. The recommended starter solution is WooCommerce. At 40,000 downloads per day, it is far and away the most popular WordPress e-commerce solution and also one of the most functional. Although you may have to pay extra for unusual features, in particular, payment gateways other than PayPal are usually extra. The others I will not cover in detail here. Uh, just to mention MarketPress, which is a very strong contender due to the price, functionality, and the fact that it comes with features that you would have to pay extra for in other carts. We'll cover this in the WooCommerce review video in which we will also discuss total cost of ownership. Lastly, if you're only selling a few physical ship products, you don't need digital download, or else you're collecting donations on your site. You can use the simple PayPal cart for that, or else the PayPal donations plugins, which will be even easier than setting up WooCommerce or any of the other full featured carts. Now, as promised, let's look at some alternatives to WordPress carts. And again, we will not cover this in detail here, but you can pause the video and take notes if this is relevant to you. First, if your site is primarily a store and you like open source, use the specialized carts such as OS Commerce or Zen Cart. They have been around a long time, they have millions of installations, and they do the job better than any WordPress cart, arguably, with the disadvantage, of course, that you won't get the powerful WordPress content management features. Second, if you're a web marketer or small business selling courses, digital downloads, or just a few products, you may want to consider the so-called all-in-one carts. These essentially add newsletter management and affiliate management to your site. You can go higher end as well into the so-called marketing automation and CRM solutions, of which the most popular is Infusionsoft that's used by many online marketers. And the drawback, of course, is that all these are pricey and will have a steep learning curve. And just to make sure we cover all the bases, here are some other ideas. Hosted cart solutions like Shopify are a very viable option for a pure online store and will likely have more functionality, better integration, and certainly better support. WordPress membership plugins also exist and are something like a specialized shopping cart that also provides access to protected content on your site. These are ideal for delivery of courses, particularly video courses, and you can set them up to charge either once or, or a recurring payment and are also very simple to set up and either free or very affordable. 
Finally, there are services that specialize in digital download, although to be honest, I'm not sure why you would use these since you can do digital downloads very easily in WooCommerce. They may provide affiliate management and access to their marketplace, which a WordPress cart would not do, or at least not easily. To summarize, WordPress shopping cart plugins are extremely powerful and either free or very affordable. There are solutions on both the low end and high end that might be a better match for your needs. And finally, implementation details can take you down the rabbit hole very quickly and may dead end. So watching these videos rather than jumping to implementation might be a very good idea.